Every other real TikTok short I see these days is a new AI tool that's gonna completely change my life. But to be honest, I don't know about you, but I don't really like to be bombarded with all these apps and extensions 24 seven. I would have a small limited amount of high yield tools that I heavily rely on rather than having 28 downloaded ones in my laptop. So I've spent the last three weeks testing over 50 AI tools and extensions, and I'm here today to give you the cream of the crop, the most practically helpful and high yield tools all divided up into their specific uses so that you can skip around the video and only only actually download what you need to. I'm gonna start with the more specific tools for learning and studying, and then I'll do the more businessy and productivity tools that I found really useful as well. The first one on the list is Wizdolia. Now imagine being able to create flashcards for any website or video you see with personalized answers, because that's what it does. It's a simple Chrome extension, but I love it because, for example, if I wanna learn the anatomy of the pelvis from Teach Me Anatomy, I can automatically generate good quality flashcards and recall the information I've read or even use these questions as my starter questions. You can type about the answer and see which parts you got right, which you got wrong. This is what I remember and this is what I missed clear as day. This is the type of stuff that makes study sessions interactive and if you like these, you can share them to your Anki as well. Second is Socratic. Forget getting tutors because you now have a Google AI powered answer for everything that you need to know right in your phone. Socratic is an app that lets you take a picture of any maths equation, physics concepts, geography, or even poetry related problems and then solves it for you. And as you can see, it gives you a visual explanation of the important bits. It's step by step. There's videos on there and there's links as well. So no matter how intricate the problem is, it sifts through the the depths of the internet to then give you the best, most simple, straightforward answer, which is invaluable for your time regardless of whatever subjects you're doing. Next up, we got Shiken, an intuitive AI tool basically for your entire learning process. You can use it to create questions or MCQs in little to no time, or you can even practice the med school or GCSE question sets that are already on there. But what sets Shiken apart in my eyes is this personal AI learning assistant that's sitting there in all of your study sessions. Because you can not only use it to ask it the difficult questions that you can with ChatGPT, but it's better because it gives you specialized prompts that you can use to practice effective study techniques and actually learn with it. So as you can see here, you can do retrieval practice, do mind mapping, use the find that technique. You can even break a topic down or have a Socratic discussion to explore something. And these are pretty good prompts as well. They also have an inbuilt space repetition system for all of your flashcards with specific goal settings. And they also teach you their space repetition formula with this Google Sheets template that you can then download and replicate for free. So all of this is definitely worth having having a study session or two with it. Now for the tools that can help us read faster and get through information incredibly quickly. Genie is definitely one of the top contenders. This is a website that speed reads long research papers from the internet or any documents and textbooks that you upload to it. It then extracts the key points and gives you a concise summarized overview, including, as you can see, the key images, words, important information, and it's actually good, which saves you hours of reading anyways. It's quite good because you can actually add anything from here into a notes tab as well to write up and then organize the points that you want to focus on. You can even highlight and copy it into there. I've personally used Genie for research, but also to get good overviews of full topics that I have to study for my cases in med school. And with the ever increasing study material, it just makes it easier to focus on the vital information. And if you have a complex document or a book that you need to understand, then WriteGBT is another really cool AI language extension. It lets you upload the document and then have a discussion about that document or ask questions about it. Unlike ChatGBT, it's a discussion purely based on the knowledge of the book or textbook that you upload. Other than that though, this extension is connected to OpenAI's API and it's basically like you're having ChatGPT on any website that you access. You can rewrite, brainstorm, email, fix code, do all of the things that ChatGPT does, but it just faster than going on the OpenAI website. And finally, one of my personal favorites is Wise One because it's like having this wise sensei guiding you through your, all of your reading. Quit, don't quit, noodles. It's quite a unique extension because it not only saves you hours of passive browsing when learning new things, but it actually improves the way you think. It has five main features. With focus, you can explore the difficult concepts on the article itself and understand the basics straight away without getting confused. Number two is cross-checking. This feature allows you to click on entire ideas and get given different perspectives and various sources on the subject. Number three, Ask Anything is another chatbot here that's ready to have a discussion and brainstorm about what you've read. And lastly, here you can see you can use the explore 
explore to read more of the recommended suggestions of the other articles that are related to this. Now let's get into the AI research assistance that you really need. If ChatGPT and Google Scholar got married, their child would be consensus. Consensus is an incredible tool for research because it acts as a smarter search engine for scientific papers and reliable research. The thing that makes it different is that it's really good at finding all the important niche specific studies relevant to your topic. Stuff that might have gone buried on regular Google Scholar and that's because it understands the context of your questions. As you can see, it creates an organized library of all the studies that you need and helps you extract key information from them. It gives you quotes, gives you their summaries, gives you their conclusions, even cites them for you, which saves you hours of digging through these papers to see if they're actually relevant or useful for you. Whether you're preparing for a presentation or writing a review, it streamlines your research process so you actually have more time to focus on the content itself. I do think that it's still in its early stages and it does have a few challenges with accuracy, but it's already very promising. Another great tool for academics and students is Elicit. And it not only finds the highly relevant studies and papers without perfect keywords and gives you an abstract summary of them, but it also goes a step further and extracts all the key information and gives you all the critical points being discussed in each of these papers, allowing you to then focus on the more relevant details. You get to choose to save your time by only reading exactly what you need to. I do think Elicit is more specific, but Consensus as a whole is the ultimate research assistant because of the amount of features it has. Moving on to productivity tools, I've been using Merlin for quite some time now. And for anyone looking to leverage the power of AI, it is a must have tool now. It's basically the ultimate ChatGPT powered Chrome extension. Firstly, for any Google search I do, Merlin will give me the open AI answer, which is usually all I need. There's no clicking on random how to do websites or browsing for ages to actually find what I'm trying to look for. It summarizes YouTube videos directly. It gives you key takeaways for any articles, websites, or documents that you have. It even provides you with a chat bot on any of the websites you access so you can quickly ask difficult questions that you have. Even if you have it for free, you get like 50 searches a day, which is more than enough, and it really speeds up your productivity. It just hugely increases speed and productivity for anyone using Chrome. Only thing is, it's not a specialized tool like the other extensions I mentioned, but still highly useful. Notion implemented AI into their platform as well, and to to be honest, it's very sick having the explain this feature, the brainstorming, the summarizing, the write a blog feature. I, like everyone else, I love Notion. I've been using it for so many things over the last four years. I've made like 50 plus book summaries on there. I've journaled on there before. I even use it for the libraries of the medical school lecture notes that I have. But I've also created things on there. I've written 20 plus articles for the website I built. I use it for everything on this YouTube channel. Everything that I think of, plan and script for this channel, Notion is just the prime hub for all of it. It's just one of those must have softwares with such great features. And now AI integration just makes it all the better. Jumping into the business end of AI tools that honestly I think are incredible. There are some insane insane website builders out there now that with just one prompt will create entire landing pages, design your logo, brand name, give you tools for email list management, all in just a few minutes. And it's a crazy time saver for anyone even outside of wanting to build a business who just wants to create a website for their project they're working on. It's just never been easier. From what I've seen initially, these websites aren't optimal for functionality. You have to really work on the prompts for making it good. But even if you give it your product idea and let it create the full site, you can put it online, drive some traffic to it and test it out. Gauge whether your business idea would get a lot of traction, see who signs up to your email list without wasting a ton of time and money on building a website and a whole business. Canva is my most used designing platform and they've added a crazy amount of AI features. Magic Design uses a single image or text prompt to create extraordinary looking presentations, posters, brochures, whatever, you name it. It has features like text to image, there's magic eraser, there's magic edit, even a presentation builder. I've been using it for two to three plus years now. It's all free and it's super user friendly. Honestly, just love the platform. Runway Emma's software is something out of a sci-fi movie. It just looks incredible as well with such a huge suite of features like video editing or text or even image to video creation. You can add effects to your images and videos using your simple text prompts. An example would be the color gradient. It lets you complete the images without your own inputs. And this feature is probably the coolest. You can alter your own videos and pictures to the style of their prompts and their videos. And it's free to test out as well. Tome is another phenomenal presentation maker. It makes full presentations from a single prompt. You tell it the main topic in a few more details and it automatically whips up slides with engaging images, text, all of it that captivates your audience. It obviously still requires you to customize it a little bit, but it's done 70 to 80% of the work. What's not to love? There's always new and better tools coming out and I'm new to the AI game, but 
after the last few weeks, I am invested. So I'll continuously be testing more and more and I want you to tell me all the best AI tools that you use down in the comments or alternatives for the ones that are already on here. I'm yet to integrate a lot of these tools into my learning, but I've already fully integrated ChatGPT into my study method, a video you can check out right here. It is a step-by-step -step method for how I use ChatGPT to make every step of my studying more efficient and how I now get much more out of the learning process as well. Trust me, it is worth watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Leave a like and I will see you in the next one.